Hey all, Sha here, coming to you this evening with a nighttime routine. My routines can change from week to week, but today is going to be focused more on a core clearing, exfoliating type of routine. So of course, today this is done after I did my moxie lash review so I have this was a full beat so it's time to take this makeup off I like to use Neutrogena's melting balm it's cheap it's easy it's effective you really don't have to get anything more expensive to take off your makeup so I definitely recommend Neutrogena elf also has a great cleansing balm everything will be linked down below here i'm just removing my magnetic lashes from moxie lash i explained this thoroughly in my moxie lash review video i'll have that linked up above or down below in the description box I like to use makeup wipes, makeup cloths really, to wipe my face off after using the melting balm. I just feel like it really just helps remove most of the makeup. So you guys are going to see through this routine a lot of a few high and low end products. Elf Holy Hydration line is very, very underrated. I love the cleanser. I tend to keep my cleansers on the low end because this is something that I'm going to use every day. So I just feel that it's just economical to keep my cleansers at a doable price range. So I really, really do love this cleanser. It's gentle, it's soft, and it's effective. So the first part of my exfoliating routine is Olay's two-step micro resurfacing peel. I believe that's what it's called. This is a really good dupe for Philosophy's micro delivery peel if you're aware of it. But um, I love this peel. It's two steps. You exfoliate first with um, the exfoliator, with the vitamin C exfoliator. It's pretty... It's pretty gentle on the skin. It's not, it's not very, very grainy. You, you don't scrub hard at all. It's really, really gentle. And you just kind of just get all in there, you know? Next is the actual chemical part. This is the chemical peel and you just apply that over the scrub and you will notice that a gentle foam starts to develop and I kind of just rub that all over my face until all of the granules are gone. Then I pretty much rinse. One thing that has really changed my skincare routine is the use of dedicated face towels. It's really good to just have a face towel that you can dry your face, remove mask, anything like that. So I would definitely recommend a dedicated face towel. So next up is my one of my favorite masks. I love masks. This is the Peach and Lily Pore Perfecting Mask. It's a really, really nice mask. And I actually love to use a clay mask after I've done any sort of chemical peel. This particular one um, has anti-inflammatory properties. It really just, it's like that final step in the pore clearing process. And of course, you gotta follow through with a lip scrub. So I left this mask on for a few minutes, I actually showered and came back, and now we're just gonna finish up the routine.
another holy hydration product this is their eye cream just moisture 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 Skin Essence is more of a choice. It's more of a luxury. You don't need it. I prefer Skin Essence over the Hyaluronic Acid Serums. I'm not a fan of the actual texture of Hyaluronic Acid Serums. Following that, I use Peach and Lily's Glass Skin Serum. If there is any product here that I would definitely tell you that you, you need to try this product, it is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum. If you are a fan of niacinamide, but you just feel like you just want a little bit more from it, this is definitely a serum to try. I'm still getting through a lot of my Keys Soul Care skincare line. I still do, I still use the line. It's a nice line. I just don't use the line alone. And I like to follow up with a simple face oil. This is the Ordinary's Rose Hip Oil. Very simple, hydrating just to seal everything in. And of course, you know, you gotta have your lip mask. And this is the Laneige lip mask. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for joining me on my night routine. Everything mentioned in this video will be down in the description box. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.